It's not the only solution, but it, it is a solution and a good solution. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill visits Kansas City's Ivanhoe neighborhood to learn about eliminating urban food deserts. Making food available in the urban core is first on Fox at 5.30. McCaskill in town to see how the federal government can help make that happen. Fox Sports John Pepitone reports from Ivanhoe, where more neighbors are growing and selling their own fruits and veggies. John? There used to be two or three grocery stores within walking distance of people living here. And over the years, as those stores closed, neighbors started looking to the land around them to produce their own food. Here in Ivanhoe, Margaret May and other neighbors have become gardeners, growing fruits and vegetables in their yards and on a large number of vacant lots in the area. They even have a weekly farmer's market to generate income from food they grow. We have what we call the Grown in Ivanhoe program, where we teach our residents how to grow their food, how to market and sell it if they wish. Federal agriculture programs can help small growers and micro farmers expand and become better producers. When somebody comes to the Ivanhoe Farmers Market and uses their SNAP card, we will match up to $25 against their federal benefits. So it's a way to help low-income families get access to really good, healthy food grown in the neighborhood. In poor neighborhoods, many see fresh produce as being too expensive at the grocery store. Instead, they end up buying packaged and prepared, but less healthy food. It took May and her neighbors 10 years to convince Aldi, a discount grocer, to open a store in the neighborhood. Still, people in Ivanhoe would like their own full-service grocery store. They're excited by plans for a new store at Linwood and Prospect. John Pepitone, Fox 4 News, working for you in Kansas City. Senator McCaskill claims the farm bill passed by Congress last year increases food purchasing power for low-income families.